is. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Recap Thursday, the show where me and Captain Lace go over everything that happened during our Sunday night RPG and any news we deem relevant or irrelevant. And we have some irrelevant news. Oh, it's great. Great. But we'll save it news. for after. Yeah. Because we're we're going to leave you to go <laughs> work on <Yeah>. it. <laughs> You're actually, you know, we would chill. We would, you know, yeah. just, but just we hang can't. Out show, but no, no, it's we not, not going to happen. Uh, so, um, previously on Pathfinder, mm. um, we have figured out who ordered the uh, the hit on on uh, Baron Feigson. Yep. Um, and so we have now we figured it out. Uh, it is the guy, the the first guy that we talked to, who is. Um, Lambin. Duke Duke Reginald Lambin. Yep. So we've teleported into his compound and we are ready to ambush him and take him into custody. Uh did we already so, fuck his shit up? And we did fuck his shit up. Yeah, okay, so, okay, okay. Who, who. Okay. Yeah. We, we have we have just finished fucking his shit up. His shit yeah. is now fucked. Yes, so now okay. we have we Fantastic. have apprehended him. He is we we've yep. taken him. Uh so and and he's knocked out. We knocked him out. Yeah. Um, not up we knocked him out out and yes. we we took some of his uh some of his dudes um oh it was the knocked out rogue yeah we knocked out his rogue and uh and we took uh the rogue and the duke back to the castle um there was a carriage outside waiting for us uh a pretty regular looking carriage which is good because it wouldn't draw too much attention so um yeah so we load them up into the carriage and uh, and leave him to to Irina. Irina does say that it's late, um, mm. so we'll we'll pick it up in the morning. Yeah. Um, so we go back to our rooms and uh, and uh, have a good night's sleep. Mm -hmm. um, so in the morning we go to speak to the Duke at the oh. keep. Uh, we actually we, um, we wake up the next morning and Ander informs us that the Duke has asked for us. Right. Which we find right. a little like, wait, what? Like, what? No, like no, 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 no. No, no, we, this is, yeah, this is yeah, just not how it works. By choice. Yeah, he yeah. doesn't ask for us. He's not in power here. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, he's he's asked you for us. So we're no like, hey, well, I guess here. like he's awake. We'll go talk to him, whatever. Um, uh, Kira does notify Edmund. Uh, even though he is a candidate, he is also still the captain of the, of the Redland Guards. So he should be there just to see what's going on. Um, he yep. said he will come watch, but he won't be actively involved. Yep. Um, um, well, okay, so uh, we we enter the room and uh, the gather around him, and he's pretty straightforward. He said he would give us his uh, full confession um, and that, you know, we should write it down because he doesn't want his words to be mis uh, misused. So, Grim... Uh, Always prepared, uh, brings out uh, you know parchment and uh, ink and begins writing down uh, Lambin's confession. Yep. And I paraphrased it, kind of. Good. Um, did you write it down? No. Uh. Oh yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. it's on, it's on the other side. Oh it's, it's, well, there you go. I thought it was. Whatever. Uh, so yeah, go for um, it, and I will. Yeah. So he's in. sitting at the table. His hands are bound to the table. Wes, Wes uh, comes up and goes, "Morning, Duke. I'll, I'll chip her his little, his little, little Wes self." Uh, <laughs> the the Duke looks quite worse for wear. Um, he looks up and says, "Everything is lost now." Uh, and then, yeah, confesses. So he says that his crimes are are many. Many folds, I think is what he said. Um, so he did order the death of, uh, of Baron Feigson. Um, the evidence planted uh, was meant to lead to Mason Makes, which would take him out of the running. Yeah. Uh, Two Smithson, for one. Yeah, Two for Smithson one was next. They were going to uh, they were going to hit him next. Um, no, Smithson was already behind in the polls, oh, right. so they didn't have to worry about him. Right, right, right. Yes. So yeah, he he wasn't gonna. But uh, Edmund was very high profile. He was definitely um, 
big competition. Yeah. So him. he was just going to rig the poles. He he had greased some hands and uh, sit with um, with a Baron, Mason, and basically Smithson all out. Um, he would just flub the numbers and beat Edmund. Yeah. So basically his plan as Lord Protector was uh, to exile all of the Kaldari from the Redlands. Um, Who we just accepted, by the way. We like yeah. we're like, oh yeah, come over here. You can stay with us. Yeah, and he was just gonna undo all of that um, because he does hold a grudge. Uh, they did kill uh, his father, it, uh, son. What? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, they killed his son. So his son, um, he he was promised his son back from the dead uh, by Zetaxis uh, via creepy Zetaxis lich magic. Yep. Um, and then he says, "Show me no mercy for in ex- that. yeah." In exchange for um, basically all the Kaldaris, you'd be like, "Here, have all the Kaldaris." Yeah. In your yeah. Undead send them home. We uh, <laughs> we got a welcome party for him. You know, we'll we'll kill him on sight, kind of thing. Oh so um, he was contacted by the taxis, uh, yep. and was... not directly. He said no. he was. He has his ways. Yeah, he, but he, he was totally played. Um, he knew exactly what uh, what to say to get this guy to cooperate. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. He he gives the names of the agents to us. Uh, most of them are his men. Um, others are city officials, like uh, like Senka said. Yep. Uh, either bribed or blackmailed into rigging the polls. Um, he he makes a list and gives that uh, to Irina so that she can she can round him up because she does have uh, have the proper channels to do so. Right. Um. So at that point, we we handed over to Irina and let her and the Redland um, officials that are not involved uh, handle this. Yeah, um, our basically our job there was to make sure that the election ran smoothly. We are not uh, the judge, jury, or executioner, so we just left it up to Redland's laws. But uh, I think we slip in that you know, ec- listen, execution. Execution. Here, here are the here are the pros. There's <laughs> yeah. no cons. Just execution. Yeah, yeah, the execution. Yep. Okay. That's that's uh, that's what it is. So, uh, Gwen, we go and talk to Gwen. Uh, hmm. She says that we can safely leave the capital now. Uh, so we do. We we head back to to the fort. Uh, before we leave, Edmund says that he will send as much of the Redland Guard to the fort as he can uh, once the election is done. Um, yep. Because he's probably going to win now. He's the, that, I, I, I look mean, back at that now and that's pretty cocky. Be like, so when I win, I'll, I'll give you all the help you can get. Yeah, and I'm like, but like, ah. to be honest, he he had practically already won. Yeah, that's true. With with Lambin being out, Smithson's, yeah, far behind. Yeah. I, we, what about Mason? He was like hyped <laughs> up to be so. Uh. I, he was He was the red herring. He was totally what? the red herring. Like, uh, Jeff was like, oh, yeah, Mix is pretty suspicious, you know? And we're like, oh, it's the, totally him. Yeah, it's, it's he like... He fucking did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jeff's like, like there's, yes. there's, there's no... Uh, yeah. <laughs> there's like, yes. there's like, no, there's no background information. He does have some shady dealings on the side. Yup, him. The, totally. Yeah, just totally him. Wrap it up. Let's, let's go. <laughs> let's go home. Um, but yes, it wasn't him. So it's fine. So, yeah. Uh, yeah I still want to meet the guy, though. He seems like a pretty interesting guy. Yeah, we, we could maybe use him. Yep. He's got some skills. Use him. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we head back to the fort. Uh, before we leave, um, yeah, so Edmund says that he'll send over uh, however many people we need. Yep. Uh, Wes and- Grim precautionally says that if anything is in any way, shape, or form suspicious, he knows how to get contact with us. Um, right. Just in case they're, you know, Gwen's wrong. Yeah, totally. Um. Ed uh, on a on a side, uh, Edmund and Wes hug. It's like manly <laughs> hug now that they are brothers in law. And uh, and Edmund whispers in Wes's ear, oh, "You better take care of her." <laughs> uh, just being being his little brotherly self. Um, so yeah, we tele- teleport back to the fort, and uh, Grim summons Watcher right away, who comes out of like nowhere, yep. as per usual. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he seems to be fine. Um, or. D- 
Grim's father. father. Yeah. Grim's father seems to be fine. Uh, he's I mean, Watcher working. seems to be fine too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Watcher's. I mean, like, not just... if Watcher's not fine, then something's wrong. But yeah, um, we're fucked. We're fucked. <laughs> yeah. So, like, uh, Grim's dad seems to be fine. He's been working in the Keep's forges under heavy guard, heavy watch. Like, not, not, not even subtle. subtle. It's not they're, subtle. They're trying to be subtle, but they're not trying very hard, or they're just like really bad at it. Um, so they're like they're literally just like standing over him while he yeah. works. Uh, it's just totally just a, in his way. Yeah, it's super obvious. He's like, "Excuse me, I need to get this," and they're like, "Oh, sorry, I'm just in here." Uh, don't mind me. <laughs> He's like, "Yeah, you're watching me, whatever." Um, so yeah, Grimma uh, recaps his dad uh, with on the incident with Madsen. Yeah. Um, He's all proud. Yeah. So happy. So that Meanwhile, I didn't go and kill, kill, kill fucking people. It's yeah. Like, Good job, son. You didn't kill <laughs> people. That's great. Meanwhile, uh, speaking of dads, yeah. Wes's dad is getting a new arm. Yay! Uh, yeah, and so Wes, uh, Wes brings Thomas over, introduces, uh, introduces his dad to Thomas, who uh, who helps him get a new arm. He should yeah. uh, he should have one within, within the day. Hours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Kind of weird, but that's whatever. Can you just imagine? No, like I just want to take a moment. Just you have a stump, right? And it like hurts as hell, and you have like phantom <laughs> limb pain. And then yeah. just like in the span of twenty four hours, if you just like sit there and look at it, you just like, is it all at once or is it like piece just by a piece? Yeah. yeah, or is it like, just, a, like a little baby root arm, like Ew. like the root arm that comes <laughs> up and then just expands? <laughs> Yeah, or know. is it like, or like Piccolo, where you know he just yells a just little like, bit bah! and then like, bah! <laughs> yeah. ah. I don't know. I don't know. We should ask Jeff that next time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> oh. Anyway, so uh, after that, we call the council together. Uh. Yeah. Oh, uh, Raya says that uh, our victory near Riverstone was um dealt a substantial blow to yep. the taxi's army mm. uh which seems to be pulling back and consolidating yeah uh, they're not they're not pushing they have been pushed actually past uh river song uh R- riverstone riverstone yeah where we yeah. were so yeah. yeah at that at that point they've just started pulling back um so we're like this is a good time to to do, do the do to do, do the, the do yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, so we ask Thomas um, a little bit more about how the staff works, like what we have to do to make it happen. And um, he's really dodgy about it. Yeah. Like I wrote like he's just like we get nothing. He's just like, oh, yeah, well, it should mask us somehow that we can pass through. <laughs> and we're like, have you tested it? He's like, some somewhat. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like it, it masks our presence when activated, um, so, but somehow, terms, but it's yeah. not very specific. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah. like how? Uh, and he's like, somehow. well, uh, yeah, it's not very specific, but some magic is involved. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fine. I like, Thanks. well, um, we've taken greater risk than this, so we're like, well, it's our only shot. It's our best shot. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, so we we decide to leave in two days to to get our shit together. Um, yeah. So we get an escort uh, assembled to we, take uh, us to the impasse. Well, we empty the keep. It's the armies big. spill forth from Fort Andron. Big, <laughs> big escort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Literally everyone. Yeah. yeah. So, and meanwhile, the election's going on. Edmund wins b- oh, by yeah. a landslide. I mean, there's no question. He he won like months ago, just not officially. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So we head out. We pass through the neck, which is uh, what connects the Redlands to uh, the east. To the east. Yeah. And every body is gone. So that battlefield. That we that we had going, yep. All the all the all the dudes we took out, they're gone. Yep. So they're probably they're probably getting their second wind somewhere. 
<laughs> Second being, wind. I like it. Yeah. Being put back into the army. Maybe third wind. Yeah. Depends if they Who were knows? dead already. Yeah. But, um, uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Grim brings up the fact that, um, you know, if we do fight the armies again uh, with the reanimated corpses or skeletons or whatever it is, it might be hard on the men because the comrades it's their comrades um but thomas did say that uh, during the battle they they did make proper precautions and burn the corpses to ashes so that they couldn't be you know brought back um so hopefully we did a good job or the men did a good job on that part and they don't have to kill like their their bro a sec you know and again that's that that would be that'd be really bad yeah. yeah. Uh, so we talked to Gwen. Gwen says that it's likely that Zataxis knows our our plan and is consolidating mm-hmm. his forces around the impasse. Um, we know that his end goal is the destruction of everything. Yep. Uh, our armies can face Zataxis while we enter the impasse. So we'll we'll distract him slash yeah. fight a war while the while some of us leave. To go behind the scenes, uh, like seven of us, yeah, yeah. Um, because Which we is like nobody will even notice yeah, we're gone. Yeah. We're just like the hobbits going yeah. into, you know, there you yeah. go. No, um, yeah, we, you know, Gwen does say that our our forces are, are well, it is the largest army ever assembled in the history of this world, uh, since basically yeah. all the kingdoms are. Are, are gathering underneath one banner. Um, so they can fight the taxis, like, in the open. Like, we don't, you know, they they have enough power to do that. Um, and basically, all... We do send scouts out. You know, a couple days pass, and we, we do send scouts out, and um, they have not returned. And it appears that there is a great host of the hobgoblins, the orcs, all camped out in front of a Kazadan, which is the entrance to the impasse. Uh with and it's also the capital of the dwarven I wanna say Empire. Yeah. Dw- dwarven, yeah. yeah. Um which yeah, they basically were trying to get through the impasse and they they never could, so they just built a city there. Um yeah, and now all the undead and all the hobgoblins and all the orcs and all the lower races are uh, are gathering here. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. So they've set up camp. Um, we. And what did we decide to do? We go visit them. <laughs> <laughs> so we ride out with a white flag. Um. There's like six of us. There's like six of us <laughs> to like however. Yeah, the party. Raya, and that's it. Yeah. That's it. So uh, the, the yeah. party and Raya. Yeah. So we ride out. Um, horns sound from the camp, mm. and uh, another group rides out. A group of twelve, because they have to one up us. Yeah. Six. Six up us. Six um, up, double up. Yeah. A few orcs, a few hobgoblins, and a few vampires actually. Um, which. Uh, he's he he changed that. He did. They're, yeah, he's like oh. you know when they get closer, they're actually not vampires. It was um like a skeleton. It was like a zombie, but it had intelligence. It had rotting flesh, oh. and yeah, it wasn't it wasn't pretty. Okay. Because he, he he looked at me and it was like oh man PTSD. No, uh, they were they were zombies. <laughs> they were zombies. Okay, yeah. They weren't Just beautiful. Kidding. Then right. there you see Lysandra's corpse. You know <laughs> she resurrects. Oh God, no, no. please no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so they, they write in, um, a hobgoblin, the, the hobgoblins are writing reptile type things, like big, yep. big reptiles, um, and orcs are the orcs, orcs are writing warg type things. Yeah. Um, so the hobgoblin is disappointed that we're surrendering, uh, which Wes actually points out that, uh, we're bringing the flag to them so that they yeah. can use it later. Yeah. Cause he said, uh, he doubts that they have a, a white flag, so... We were kind yeah. enough to to give them one. Yeah. So there's there's a bunch of smack talk. Ooh. Back and that forth. only that only West can do. Yeah. The rest smack of us are like that only West you, can do. You do your thing. Yeah, you do yeah. you boo boo. You do yep. you. Yep. And uh, and we'll just sit here, and 
appreciate. Appreciate, yeah. There your, you go. Your your quick tongue. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, bunch of bunch of smack talk uh, ends in the the hobgoblin being being bored, aka mm. not having any good comebacks left. Yep. <laughs> and uh, and they ride back. Yeah. Um. Basically, uh, Wes does his thing to taunt. Uh, Grim, uh, basically just says that they, you know, he was being a diplomat you know they were just wanting to uh declare war or a, a battle if that wasn't already um obvious obvious With yeah the thousands and thousands of uh of tens of thousands of yeah uh and um basically he he says uh you know if you hope to be uh, he says something um like if you want to the victors write history and if you want to write this world's history, you better empty the halls of Kazadan or you're not going to win. So trying to make um, the the sneaky deaky squad's life a little bit simpler um, because if uh, Zetaxis throws his entire army out, then we will have less resistance. Yep. Yep. Um, the only big thing, though, before the war... War like the during the meeting before this um, kind of parlay took place was the fact that uh, Gwen was like, yeah, we have enough people to to fight out in the open to to actually you know go one on one with Zaxxis's army, and Krim's like, what happens if Zaxxis ends up coming himself? <laughs> he was like, yeah, we're, we we'll, we'd be fucked. Like, honestly, we'd be screwed. That would be bad. Yeah. Let's just hope that doesn't happen. And I'm like, oh, that's great. So yeah. hopefully. <laughs> we're just, we're, we our do... fingers are crossed at this point. Oh, for so many things. Like, I can just imagine us going around, destroying the, uh, the destroying the phylactery, right? And then c- we're like, yeah, we did it. Now we can fight the taxis. And then we come back and our army is just like decimated. And the taxis is just sitting there on like... A, yeah, like a mound like, oh, of corpses. Yeah, a mound you. of corpses. He's like, oh, good. I was just finishing up your armies. I thought I'd be bored. And we're like, oh, God, everyone's dead. No. That would suck. That would really, really yes. suck. Yeah. Yes, it would. Uh, so, anyway, and, so that's that's what happened. Yeah. Um. Again, uh, it was another short session because uh, Jeff had to go. Um, but another good build up session so to speak we had uh the conclusion of the mystery in uh Brenziri and then uh the build up to this big ass battle that we're about to fight um we are not though as uh we had already announced going to meet this Sunday that's not gonna happen right um so we are taking another week break that's pretty much it yeah but we might have something Oh, 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 yes. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, that is it for a recap, or, well, the RPG recap portion. Um, stay tuned after the quick slide change for some more news. We'll be back after these messages. No messages. <laughs> 